So this camper trailer has cost all up. Alrighty guys, before I get started with today's video, I just want to mention you guys can help support the channel by picking up your very own merch um, over at teespring.com at Engineer to Design. I'll leave the link in the description. That just helps support projects and builds like this going. But as of right now, let's get to the video. What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. And today's video is going to be the last video on this camper trailer in the series. So I'm actually going to be wiring up that BCDC that we fitted in last week's video. If you guys haven't seen that, check that out, link above. So it's just a 25 amp Red Arc BCDC charger. So I'm going to wire that down to the batteries and to the drawbar. And then we'll do the same, um, wire it through to my car and we'll be able to charge it while we're driving. So yeah, if you guys haven't seen any of this series, you can click the link above to the first ever video. This camper trailer has been extremely fun to build. Um, it is a really DIY sort of uh, off-road camper, bug out camper sort of thing, whatever you want to call it. And I will be doing a price reveal at the end of this video, guys. So you'll have to stay tuned for that, but let's get started. All right, guys, so what I plan on doing is running um, the BCDC charger wiring down along with this solar wire. I've just left this one loose because um, I knew that I was going to run the BCDC down there. So with the red, that's our battery input from the car. So we're going to have the Anderson plug um, through a 80 amp relay up the front on the car there. Um, so that'll turn on with ignition. So that's going to be fused. So that'll be running all the way down to the car through the draw bar through an Anderson plug. Um, now we will put the blue wire, which is ignition. We'll put that in there because obviously when the car's off, the uh, relay up the front will be off. Now earth, I'm going to run that down to the battery and then back off the battery, I'm going to run the Anderson plug wiring. And I'm also going to earth the Anderson plug to the draw bar just to make sure everything's all earth. And our brown is our output. What I'm going to do is put that down to the battery um, through a 40 amp fuse. Bolt in fuse down to these twin batteries. Um, now the orange and the green, I'm going to leave those off. They, they do change the voltage a little bit for different sorts of batteries. But I'm actually not sure what batteries I'm going to go yet. So if you guys have got any uh, suggestions, maybe lithium or something, um, let, let me know down below. But yeah, so I'm going to run all those down into a bit of um, cloth tape, wrap it all up because I don't have any split tube big enough and we'll try and tie it all up with some cable ties and then we'll run it down the drawbar. Alright guys, so what I've got here, I've run the cabling down um, with that solar cable. So what I've got is the um, BCDC, that's the output. So that'll go to the batteries through a 40 amp inline fuse. Um, I'll run the wiring up from the draw bar um, uh, into this bit of twin here. So that's gonna connect straight into the input of the BCDC. And then the earth will go double into this one and that'll go straight there. And these batteries, I did um, earth them heavily down to the frame, so that's fine. All right, so that BCDC is all wired up in here. Um, it's blinking the AGM slash gel light. So once I plug it in, I'll double check, but I can swap it over to standard for now because I've got the um, lead acid batteries in there. So I've got the solar plugged in. It's blinking as well. That's putting out about 13 volts at the moment. The batteries are extremely low because I haven't charged them up in ages. Anyway, I've got the cable run all the way down, tucked down underneath. Um, it's run through the fuses in there, um, all the earths and that are run in together. I ran the solar with it too, um, cut those off and uh, redid it all so nice and neat. Now underneath here, I'll just show you guys under the drawer bar here. So I've ran the wiring uh, down under there. I will chuck some split tube over that and I've just um, siliconed it up for now just to stop anything from coming in. Um, next job I want to do is just add an Anderson plug on here and then the camp trail is done and then I'll be able to um, start on the car. Alright, so what I've done off camera here is I've run 8 BNS twin all the way down in the back. I've fitted a nice um, waterproof Anderson plug that flips down. So you just flip it down and plug it in. Uh, that mounted up nice and easy. I did actually have one there originally, but that was off the second battery. So I've replaced that and we're putting it off here. Um, now what I've got here is my earth and ignition feed for the relay. So that'll just be ignition when you're driving. Um, and then I've got the, the 8 BNS twin here. So the earth will go straight to the battery terminal. And the positive is going to go through an 80 amp relay through a 40 amp bolt in 
ACL fuse and that'll keep everything protected. So next thing we're going to do is hook up with this uh, four mil twin. I'm just going to connect to pin 85 and 86. So that's ignition and earth. Alright guys, so that Anderson plug is now wired through that 80 amp relay. Now it did take a good bit of time to do that, but it is all finished now. So we actually have uh, battery power down the back with the ignition on. So that'll kick in that BCDC charger and get it charging. Now I do want to take the camper out for a good test with this charger and somewhere scenic to reveal to you guys the price of this camper and a little bit of a breakdown of what it's cost. But I did get a late start in today's video, so I'll just have to catch you guys tomorrow in the morning. Actually the next day here and I've towed this camper trailer out to a nice bush location as I showed you guys there that BCDC charger is working really well it's charging those batteries up so the time has finally come this camper is 100% complete so I'll give you guys a little bit of a breakdown on the cost so this camper trailer has cost all up three thousand four hundred and thirty dollars now that is made to my needs so you guys might not need everything that's on here. So if you guys were to build a basic camper, you'd be looking at about $1,450. Now I paid $700 for the trailer and $750 for the tent. So I could just go out and just use this thing as it is. Now if you wanted to ba build a basic 12 volt system, you could do that for about $100 if you do it yourself. So that's just a couple of lights and a radio in there so you could have some music. Now to paint this camper trailer with all the supplies, the paint, uh, the sandpaper wheels, the cleaning supplies, the drop sheets, the tape, everything was $665 and that was done by myself. So you can save a lot of money if you guys do that yourself and this has turned out absolutely amazing. This stuff is so good, I cannot recommend it enough. Now if you want to put accessories in, say um, drawers, barbecue, fridge, solar panel, basic 12 volt system. Um, you're looking at about $1,240. Now I got the fridge for free as a gift and the um, barbecue as well. But I've added those into that price just to give you guys a rough idea. Now I got these wheels and tyres second hand so they were used. Um, so I got those for free and the hubs cost me about $75. And then you're looking at about 40 work hours to do this. So if you get the family involved and some friends around and some mates, you can really have some fun on building something like this and then go out and use it. Go ahead and explore the bush. I cannot recommend this enough, guys. This thing has just turned out absolutely amazing. All right, so the only things I might add in the future um, is probably just an electric brake conversion on this. As this trailer doesn't have any brakes, um, you do feel it behind towing on the car there. Um, and the only other thing I wouldn't mind adding is just the waterproof Anderson plug on the outside um, or even underneath possibly just to trickle charge the batteries when this thing is in storage. But yeah, this camper trailer is absolutely 100% complete guys. I'm wrapped with how this has turned out. I'm really excited to bring you guys along on this new epic journey of turning that shipping container into a workshop and building some new projects in there. So I hope you guys will follow me for that. If you guys would like to help support the channel, you can jump over to teespring.com and engineer to design. I'll leave the link in the description. Thank you guys for all the love and support. Leave your comments and thoughts down below. Now, 
Now, I am trying to get to 1,000 subscribers, guys. So if you guys could share the channel around, share these videos around, I really appreciate that. If you guys would like an inside scoop before YouTube, you can jump over to Instagram. Make sure you smash that subscribe button and notification bell so you don't miss out anything. I'll see you guys in the next one.